So this morning, I joined General Lori Robinson to update the Senate Armed Services Committee on our respective efforts to defend the homeland. Since I last spoke to the committee, Southcom has had a very eventful year. We're working closely with our partners across the United States government and the region to address threat networks. These threat networks undermine regional stability and security. At Southcom, we've made countering those threat networks our number one focus area, and we've redoubled our cooperation with interagency and international partners to detect criminals or extremists. We're examining new capabilities and technologies to help law enforcement target their predatory and menacing activities in the places and in the spaces where those networks are present. Our second focus area, rapidly responding to crises or to contingencies, was tested by Hurricane Matthew in October and more recently by the floods in Peru. And I believe you're aware today was the first flights uh, provided by a pair of our C-130s flying out of Peru to help uh, provide humanitarian supplies from Lima up to the hardest hit areas in northern Peru. Today is also the day that a, uh, a Navy P-8 aircraft deployed from Jacksonville, Florida, down to Uruguay to join an international effort in search of the Republic of Korea vessel, the Stella Daisy. Our third focus area, to be partner of choice, in this region reflects the importance that we place in security cooperation. It reflects the importance that we place on building trust and on developing strong ties with equal and respected partners who share our desire for a safe hemisphere and our commitment to working collaboratively towards a common goal. We look to the future, and as we look to the future, we will continue to explore new and creative ideas to deepen our dialogue with partners and to learn from their expertise from their experiences, and to gain their perspectives. We want this future to reflect the strength of our relationships with defense and security partners, because that's the best approach for our command, for our country, and for this important region.